Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to focus and talk to you about Character Map. And that is an app that I use on my Windows PC specifically to leverage all of the glyphs and flourishes and all of the fonts um, that I've uploaded into from the font or that I've purchased from different places. I love, I get them because they have all these amazing add-ons that I want to enhance my text with, but it's, you know, not everybody knows how to leverage all of those additional items and bring them into Cricut Design Space. So I want to help you do that. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Arlene Gonzalez Pagan, also known as a crafty Latina. And my goal is to inspire you help you optimize the use of your Cricut machine and reach your crafting goals. So make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss future videos. Here we go. Okay, so first I wanna show you the one that comes already preloaded in Windows, um, in Microsoft Windows. So I'm just gonna search for character map. And it's this one right here. This is what it what it looks like. So let's just open that. And this is what you get. I can't even make this box big. So it was really annoying. It was useful because it shows me all of the glyphs, all of the special letters. I can select the fonts and the fonts that you've uploaded through different sources. If you've uploaded fonts from the font or if you buy them from different places, they will all show up here as, the, as part of character map and will show you any additional glyphs or special characters that come with those fonts. And in the past, this is what I used when I wanted to add some of these special characters and use them with Cricut Design Space. So this was the process I would use. Let's just say I want to pick this A right here. And already it's like there's a lot of options, but they're so tiny. And then when you double click it, it brings it into characters to copy into this white box. But honestly, like I can't see. I don't even I can't even tell you if that's the right thing or not. So then you highlight what it is and you hit copy. And then you would go into Cricut Design Space, open a text box. And the one thing that you that you have to remember if you're going to um, use those special glyphs, you have to up here, you have to select that same font because otherwise this is what's going to happen. So that was the Samantha Upright font that I wanted to use one of the glyphs. So if I go ahead and paste it here in Cricut Design Space, it's going to come out as an un something that you know it's not a character it's just like a box because we have not selected the matching font within Cricut Design Space as well so I have to find Samantha on here there it is and then this should automatically turn into that A there it is so I mean it's not bad it is a simple process it's the copy and paste type thing which is fine but I really need to be able to see what I'm doing so this is um, what I have downloaded. This is the new one that I found for me, which is so super helpful. So I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to search character map again within my PC. This is just me searching on things that are already uploaded into my PC. Now, this is the free, the other free Microsoft app that I found, character map UWP. And when you click on that, you're going to see the difference. I mean... To me, honestly, it was life changing and it's it's not perfect. There is something in there that's a little wonky, um, but I'm going to show you how big of a difference this is. So immediately, immediately, everything is so much larger. Everything I can see it clearly. All of my fonts are right here on the left. I can scroll and not only can I find the font that I want, it's already given me it's um, the way that the font looks like it's not just letters. It's actually it writes it in the in the same font style of what you have. And then right now I have selected the I Love Glitter font, which is right here. And it just shows me everything that comes with it, everything. And if I want to see this bigger, all I have to do is click on it and it brings it to this screen right here. You can toggle and make that screen wider, smaller. Everything is right here. Look how large it is. So I'm going to go back and show you how quickly. So you go to the top left and I'm going to find Samantha. Right there, it brings it up. I click on it. Everything is right here that I need to see for this one font. Everything I, I need to find, everything I'm looking for. Click on something. Look how beautiful. Now let's say this is what I want to bring into design space. All I have to do is hit add here at the bottom it brings it here so this is the part that i was telling you that's a little glitchy for some reason even if you're on full size screen it won't show you what's down here 
um, if anybody has a fix for this or if anybody has any clue on how I can expand this, that would be great because even if I make this into a smaller box and try and push this up, um, it's still like it won't. I can't drag this to the bottom. Like I can't do anything with it. So anyway, but at least you know what you've added down here because it's right here large. So I it's down here. All I have to do is now hit copy. It says copy to clipboard, go back into my design space. And it's the same steps as we did with the other one. However, it's so much easier to see. Um, and I feel like it's more easier to navigate. I see all of my fonts on the left. I see everything that I need. So again, we open a text box and it already shows like we already have the Samantha font up here. So that's why the word text shows that way. It's using the font that was already selected. We just wanna delete what is in there. And I'm just going to do control V and paste the letter that we brought in. And there it is. Now, let me show you one other thing. Let's go back to that character map. Let's say you just wanted the fancy A, but the rest of the word you wanted, um, you wanted, let's say I'm going to write my name. So it's going to be that A. All I have to do is type the rest of my name on here. Yes, it's not showing the full screen. So I don't even know if I typed it correctly, but you can type a whole sentence. You can type whatever it is that you want down here. So you don't have to go back and forth with special characters. You can type everything that you want in this box. Once you have it all written, you hit copy, go back into design space. And there it is. It brought everything that I typed all in one shot. So you can type a whole sentence, type everything that you want in that box and then bring it in here. Um, um, I hope that was useful. Again, let me just show you what this looks like. And so let's search for for it together so I can show you what that looks like and where to find it. Character map UWP. So here, right here, the first thing that pops up, it's part of Microsoft.com. Character map UWP Microsoft apps. You click on that. So here it goes. It brings you right into the Microsoft Windows app, character map UWP. And... And this is it. All you have to do is get in store app free and just download it. And honestly, it is amazing. I hope that was useful. I mean, it's it's an easy way to find all of the special characters on all of the fonts that you have in your system. So you don't have to try and remember codes or remember any of that. Um, hope that was helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss future videos. Thank you.